than two with more than two decades of public service and the only professional chef elected to any state house in the United States, born in Orangeburg and raised in Hampton, South Carolina, graduate from Johnson and Wales University, please welcome South Carolina Representative J.A. Moore. Thank you, everybody. I am so blessed to be here today. Arguably, the hallmark of Joe Raleigh's career was his commitment to racial equality. Almost six decades ago, as one of the youngest members of the State House, Joe Raleigh proposed South Carolina's first holiday to honor Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. He, you can clap for that. <laughs> he defended the rights of African American hospital workers when they went on strike because they were getting paid less than minimum wage. And as mayor, Joe Riley hired African Americans in prominent positions and displayed portraits of Dr. Martin Luther King and Denmark Vesey in state buildings. He organized and led a march walking from Charleston to the State House in Columbia urging state legislators to remove the Confederate flag on top of the Capitol building. Wait, it gets better. It gets better. That next week, it came down. And it remained down in a less prominent place on the State House ground until finally it came down in 2015. In January 2000, Mayor Raleigh proposed the idea for this museum. That was 23 years ago. I was 15. <laughs> this journey has been long with a lots of ups and downs, a lots of challenges. But one constant, one consistent, one courageous leader, Joe Raleigh. He never. He never gave up. He never compromised the mission. He never compromised on excellence. Isn't it excellent? Yes. Yes. See, when I first moved to Charleston 20 years ago to go to college, there was four people that my dad told me I needed to meet. He gave me their phone numbers and insisted I give them all a call and develop a relationship with each of them. One of those people was Mayor Riley. He and my dad had been friends, close friends for a long time because of my dad's civil rights work throughout the country. But for whatever reason, you know how we are as kids sometimes, I didn't take my dad's advice. I would go on living in Charleston for almost a decade before meeting this man. Even though my dad told me how important he was, See, it was July the 3rd of 2012 that I finally took my father's advice. It was the day my father died. I don't know why, but the first person I called once I got the news from my mother was Mayor Riley. He picked up the phone even though he didn't know who I was. Later that day, we met in his office. He gave me a hug as soon as he saw me. We talked a while. And he called my mother, gave her his condolences, and said, we finally met. Despite being the mayor of this city, he stopped everything he was doing to acknowledge my humanity. I was so deeply appreciative of that. It was that humanity that kept our city together three years later. On June the 17th, of 2015 when a white supremacist killed nine parishioners, including my beloved sister, Myra Thompson, 
and the Mother Emanuel AME Church. In that moment, Mayor Riley's humanity and from the hard ability to comfort the downtrodden helped heal the damage and divided city and nation. We are here today because of this extraordinary man's humanity, his leadership, his vision, his relentless pursuit of equality and excellence. It's with a humble heart and gratitude to all of you that I introduce the Honorable America's forever mayor, my mayor, Joseph Raleigh.